Hai sai gusu yo kobashi ga wa shin yai bing cha ganju yai bimi Welcome everyone I'm your host Sid I hope you're doing well and staying safe First I ask that you hit that subscribe button and become part of this group That will help the YouTube algorithms to suggest this channel to others interested in Uchinaguchi and grow the group But more importantly it will ensure that every time a video is released you will be notified. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to hit that subscribe button. Today's topic is DQ and languages. In the last video, we discussed how this channel will define the DQ islands. Check out video two if you missed it. If you remember, the definition we'll use for the DQ islands are the islands where a DQ language is natively spoken. So that would be the Amami Islands, Okinawa Islands, Miyako Islands, and the Yayama Islands. The first key point of today's topic is that there is no language called Dukyu. There is no single Dukyu language that is spoken across all the Dukyu Islands. Dukyuan languages is a group of languages and not a specific language. It is analogous to European languages, where it is also a group of languages. The second point is that native words spoken in the Dukyus are languages and not dialects. The linguists in mainland Japan have long advertised that Uchinaguchi and the other Dukyuan languages are dialects and not languages. However, all linguists outside of Japan recognize that the native Dukyuan spoken words are languages and in recent times, some linguists in mainland Japan have started to recognize that the Dukyuan languages are indeed languages and not dialects. Both Japanese and Dukyuan languages belong to what is called the Japonic languages. They could have named it the Dukyuanic languages, but they went with Japonic. What this means is that both are sister languages and were derived from the same root and not from each other. Scholars have different estimates, but it is believed that the Japonic languages were brought to Japan and the Dukyus by the Yayoi people around 700 to 300 BC via Korea. I found a nice YouTube video explaining the history of the Japonic languages and how the Dukyuan languages developed. So instead of rehashing that video, I suggest that you watch it instead. I will leave the link in the description below. So how many Dikyuan languages are there? Their answer is that no one really knows. The most common answer is six, and that is because UNESCO has designated that there are six endangered Dikyuan languages. UNESCO is the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. Part of its cultural mission is to track the vitality of languages. The six Dikyuan languages it has designated as being endangered are the Amami, Kunigami, Central Southern Okinawan, Miyako, Yaeyama, and Yonaguni languages. You will notice that even though the islands of Okino, Erabu, and Yorong are part of the Amami island group and a part of the Kagoshima prefecture, but linguistically these two islands are part of the Kunigami language. To be considered a separate language and not a dialect, the language must be mutually unintelligible from all other languages. Let's take a look at how different these six Dukyuan languages are. First, we'll look at how thank you is said in Japanese and each UNESCO identified Dukyuan language. In Japanese, thank you is arigato. In Amami, it's Arigate sama deota. In Kunigami, it's Mihe diro. In Okinawan, it's Nife de biro. In Miyako, it's Tandigata nde. In Yaeyama, it's Mifai yu. In Yonaguni, it's Fugarasa. Quite different, isn't it? Next, we'll look at how welcome is said in each language. Welcome in Japanese is yokoso. In Amami, it's imore. 
in Kunigami is Manshori or Ugami Yaburua. In Okinawa, it's a Mensore. In Miyako, it's Unmiachi. In Yaiyama, it's Oritori. And in Yonaguni, it's Wari. These islands are quite close in distance, but surprisingly, the language is quite different. But there are other linguistic organizations that recognize a different number of DQN languages. Ethnologue and Glottologue recognize 11 DQN languages. Ethnologue catalogs the world's languages and organizes it according to language families. Glottologue is a database of the world's lesser known languages maintained by the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany. These two organizations have identified these 11 DQN languages. Kikai, Northern Amami, Southern Amami, Tokunwa Shima, Okino Erabu, Yurong, Kunigami, Central Southern Okinawan, Miyako, Yaiyama, and Yonoguni. Yet another organization called JLEC, short for Japonic LEC, proposed at least 14 Dukuan languages. JLEC maintains dictionaries for the Japonic languages and Japanese mainland dialects. The dictionaries are online, so this is a good resource you can use to translate words in the Dukuan language to English or in reverse. The 14 Dukuan languages identified by JLEC are Kikai, Northern Amami, Southern Amami, Tokunoshima, Okino Erabu, Yorong, Northern Okinawan, Southern Okinawan, Miyako, Tarama Minna, Ishigaki, Iri Omote, Hateruma, and Yonaguni. So it's not clear how many different Dukuan languages there are, since even linguists disagree on the actual number. It could be 6, 11, or 14, or possibly even more. What is not known is the number of speakers of each Dukuan language. This number, however, is believed to be a very small number of the population as most speakers are elderly due to the Japanese educational policy of not allowing any Dukuan language to be spoken at schools. This table shows the population base for each area of each Dukuan language. Remember, this is not the number of native speakers. That number will be much less. Just looking at these numbers, we can guess that some of these Dukuan languages are only a generation away from extinction. Maybe we can reverse this trend. As I mentioned in a previous video, my vision is to grow the number of people that can speak and understand Uchinanguchi. So there are many Dukuan languages and each Dukuan language has many dialects. You'll be surprised to know that there are around 800 Dukuan dialects, based on the research of Patrick Heinrich and Masahide Ishihara. Both of these professors have written extensively on the Dukuan languages and are experts on this subject matter. So there are 400 dialects of the Uchinanguchi language. What this says is there is a variation of the Dukuan language dialects from town to town, village to village, and even district to district. It is important to keep this point in mind as we start covering Uchinaguchi, since your family's local dialect may differ slightly from the Naha Shudi standard. I hope today's topic has deepened your knowledge of the Dukuan languages. With that, this will end today's video. As always, thank you for viewing. Please comment if you want to share information. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time. Mataya Asai.